This is me driving a 500 horsepower car at 140 miles an hour during a real race while having absolutely no idea how to drive. What do Formula One drivers, orangutans, and me have in common? 99% of our DNA. Except, unlike me, they are competent drivers. But that's gonna have to change because I just entered a real race with real race car drivers, and it's in seven days. I can either win some really cool prizes or die in a fiery crash. I have no idea what I'll be driving in the race because I rented a mystery car. No, like, I'm serious. It, it literally said mystery when I clicked on the category. And what better way to learn than with a rare and expensive sports car? This is a 2023 Supra, and it's a fast car. It comes with many things, such as carbon fiber mirror caps, red brake things that make it go fast and look sport, and many, many other things that I don't really understand. Driving in public when you don't know how to drive stick, it's the most stressful thing in the world. What just happened? Oh my god, I just stalled. Oh my god, I just stalled. Sorry, sorry. Oh my god, sorry. How am I gonna get ready for this race, boys, if I'm stalling at lights? I don't want to go to John's house. Who is John in LA? I want to go to Johnny's ice cream parlor. Confirm by saying yes. Nobody ever started with all six gears. You learn two, then you learn the other two, and then you know six gears. Okay. Oh, wrong gear. There. Oh, I changed the gear! I changed the gear! I changed the gear, man! Okay, he's not listening. Wait, why are there two brake pedals? Oh god, I'm going backwards. Lesson one, boys, and it's an important one. You can't stop a stick shift car on a hill. I guess I should start with something easier. I'm gonna be starting off with go-karts because that's what Formula One drivers used to train with. What? What is this? Yeah, I can't imagine how F1 drivers go over 200 miles an hour in a fancier version of a go-kart. This go-kart is so much more intense than a car. But who needs doors and a roof anyways? I couldn't talk to you guys because that was like way too intense. Fourth place, baby. They need to make a four. This is a Toyota Highlander. It was built in 2003, which is also the last time it was washed. Ew. Oh, it sounds like a dead horse being revived. No amenities, no luxuries, but you get armrests. The dashboard is the same material as the steering wheel. Which is the same material, incidentally, as the gear knob. Which is also, incidentally, the same material as the door panel. Somebody grabbed the hardest plastic in the world and decided to make it even more uncomfortable. The brakes do not work. I love when I just go like this and the car just doesn't respond. I have had girls on Tinder be more responsive than the steering on this car. Alright, we're gonna go for the zero to 60 right here oh here we go oh this is making a lot of noise not a lot of action i've moved faster in an office chair i don't know why i thought trying to drift in a 20 year old suv with no handbrake is a good idea but i'm gonna do it anyways all right boys time to drift <sighs> i did a drift i did a drift the real drifting though is gonna happen during the race now that I've had a lot of time to practice and the race is coming up really soon, for my final test before the big race, I'm going to be driving Angeles Crest Highway, which is known to be one of the most beautiful driving roads on the planet. There's a lot of curves, a lot of surprise turns, and a lot of accidents. Oh, this is windy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't shift quick enough. I can't shift quick enough. Oh, stuck behind someone slow. Oh my god. He's actually going like 20 brother I have a race to prepare for and it's not like he doesn't know there's eight cars behind him because it's a two-lane road And we've been honking at him for seven minutes So what I need to learn here is to take these corners really fast because the race is gonna have a lot of really tight corners Ooh, Is it too late to become religious? Oh, this is a race. This feels like a race <laughs> This road's really intense. God my palms are like sweaty. I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's like, like sweaty. sweaty. And then finally, I'm starting to really like this drive. Woo! And seeing all these dudes in Porsches and Lambos is really motivating me to not drive like a bum. Oh, this is really fast. Just as I'm starting to enjoy the drive, we suddenly discover a giant roadblock. Boys, I got terrible news. This was the perfect road to help me prepare for my race. I don't feel as prepared as I should be. And with the race coming up in just two days, I'm really terrified. Now it's time to pick up the mystery car and get ready for the race. We're about four hours from Arizona and I feel completely unprepared. Do I feel ready for this race? <laughs> 
I have uh, driven a 20 year old Toyota for practice and I borrowed my friend's Supra for like half a day. Who's gonna be my competition? Other people who suck, right? Boys, we're in Phoenix, it's 8 p.m. The race is gonna start tomorrow at six in the morning. And I have no idea what car I'm gonna get still. I really wanted to get to know this car before I took it on a race. Oh, I'm really nervous. Oh man. I'm just picking a car I had reserved today. Well, upstairs to the left. Okay, thanks. Now it's time to go pick up the mystery car and get ready for the race tomorrow morning. <laughs> Boys, we might have a chance. I hope it doesn't die before we need to actually film interior. <laughs> we might actually have a chance, boys. This is literally the same material as the back of a Spirit Airlines seat. Hey, okay, 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 I'll race you good tomorrow. We'll win, we're gonna win that race, okay, Mustangy? You're good. It is 5.40 in the morning. So I've gotten like two hours of sleep after a nine hour drive. Sorting my words and just look absolutely dead. Like... Gonna be late to the race, boys! And I just realized I made a massive mistake. I don't have any sponsors for this race, which means I'm gonna lose at least a few horsepower. And I forgot to print some sponsors when I got to the hotel at 3 a.m. Oh my god, it's a real race. There's RVs! People have camped! That's cool. The color is perfect. <laughs> How long have you had it? I've been doing this for almost 30 years. Oh my god, okay. Everybody starts off as level one, where they assign you an instructor, and if you do a lot of things right and don't crash into something a lot, your instructor will promote you to the next level. Very few people have done it, and today I'm gonna be one of them. I'm already off to a fantastic start with my instructor since I just butchered his name. So my goals are get a good rating from my instructor, drift, pass someone, and be promoted to the next level where I have no idea what's gonna happen. How long have you had this car? I literally just rented it, like, last night. Oh. First lap ever on an actual track that's not like a Walmart parking lot. No, if you're not on the brake, you're on the gas, okay? Okay. Gas, 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 gas. Go, 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 go. Oh. Gotta stay wide. You gotta stay out. I just drifted. This is so awesome. I clutched the steering wheel so hard, my hands are sore. I blame the fact that there's other cars. <laughs> How did you do the first time you went and played baseball? Struck out every time. That's true. What's like the worst car you've ever seen do this? Ford Raptor. Ford Raptor? The truck? A truck. Go, go, go. Stay on him, stay on him. Oh man, I at least overtook someone. <laughs> no, get, get out here, get out. Always on the racing line, you point the by on the outside. How was that compared to the first time though? Your biggest thing to work on is your awareness. That is how accidents happen. I was on the straightaway. You're supposed to let people who are like really close to you pass. So I pointed to the right, which meant he could pass me on the right. But then I ended up slowing down and going to the right. And as he was speeding up, he almost crashed into me. That would have been really bad. <laughs> Was that back there? Checkered. All right. Oh my God, that was probably the most intense one yet, I think. <laughs> <laughs> With every lap, I started to get better. Instead of seeing where I am, I can see where I need to be, and I'm finally not afraid to full send it. I got signed off to level two. He's moving to level two. <laughs> <laughs> Come check out my tires. This is after two races. I don't know if these tires are gonna make it two more races. I feel like I've gained 10 years of racing knowledge in one day. I just passed someone on my own. There is no feeling in the world like this. There's no better thrill than passing someone at high speed, knowing you're one mistake away from ending up in a tree and on fire. This morning, I couldn't even go the right way in the parking lot. And now I'm going 120, taking people over. I've learned a lot today, but if there's one thing I learned, I really like racing. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Oh, we did it. This was the best day I've ever had. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe.